guys, so we're in Tobamori in the Bruce Peninsula and right now we are in halfway log dump. Um, the water is crystal blue. It's just a beautiful place to spend the day and it's only a three hour drive from Toronto. So join us as we spend the day in the Bruce Peninsula. The distance from the parking lot to the beach is about a one kilometer walk, but we just took our time and enjoyed the long winding trail. Here's a little tip. Make sure that you book your parking pass online before heading to Bruce Peninsula Park, but I'll get into more details about that a little later. The crystal blue waters along Georgian Bay and the Pebblestone Beach was truly a sight to see. Who knew we had water this blue in Ontario? After relaxing along the shoreline, we decided to do some exploring around the rocks and cliffs which are just a short walk away from the beach. I just cannot believe how blue this water is. Like, Come over it's here. just unreal. Hey, Fee? Yeah. Tell them to look at how clear and blue the water is. I, I feel like we're in the Caribbean. Like this water is unreal. Turquoise blue. And we were so lucky today because you're supposed to reserve parking. And when we tried to do it online, it was totally full. But um, Patrick and his friend turned the charm on and we were able to get in, thank God, because it's a three hour drive and we didn't want to come here and then be turned away. But luckily, the lady was really nice, eh? Very nice. She was so <laughs> nice. So thank goodness we were able to come in and it's, it's well worth the drive. Your parking pass is for Halfway Log Dump as well as Singing Sands Beach, but you only get a specific time slot for Halfway Log Dump. So it's a six hour time slot, either from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. or 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. It was quite the workout walking along these steep rocks, but it certainly was worth it for these views. And Keenan totally enjoyed practicing his parkour here. So our tip for if you want to come to Tobomori is to come here early, get here early. We left our house at 5 a.m. and got here just after 8. And that's probably why the, the uh, parking attendant let us in. Um, even though we didn't have a reservation, we couldn't book one online either because it was full. But I'm sure that by noon, this place is going to be packed right now. There's just a few other people here and it's nice and peaceful. It's just beautiful. We're loving it here. We wanted to get to the beach area where we could set up our canopies and barbecues for the afternoon, which is a separate parking lot. So we decided to head back to the car and head to Singing Sands Beach. We just had a wonderful time at Halfway Log Dump. And after exploring all the area, we're taking a hike back to the car and we're getting ready to go to Singing Sand Beach. And we're gonna let the kids swim and all that good stuff there. Barbecue. Barbecue. Play some music. Play some music, play some games, a whole lot of stuff that we have planned. The night, the day is still halfway through. We have a lot more to go. So we'll see you there at Singing Sands Beach or B-Square. At Singing Sands, there's a little um, marsh area and there are sand hill cranes. So we made it to Singing Sands Beach and the parking lot was actually full, but fortunately this guy was gracious enough to allow us to park at his um, in his driveway. He did charge us $20 per car, but that's fine. The kids have been having fun. Um, they're playing in the sand and the water is really shallow, shallow, so it's perfect for kids. So we're gonna barbecue, we're just gonna relax. We are all set up, we have some air mattresses set up and we're just going to enjoy the day at the beach. So there are a number of areas in uh, Tobamori that you can go hiking, 
Um, there are the flower pots, islands that you can go on a boat cruise. Because we're here on a day trip from Toronto, we don't have a lot of time. So unfortunately, we won't be doing that. But we'll definitely be back. There's also yurts that you can rent if you don't want to do camping because we don't really we're not campers um, but we will definitely stay in a yurt so maybe next time we come we'll probably spend a weekend and then we can go to the flower pot islands and then discover a few more things around Tobamori. got my trusty little uh coleman uh road trip girl here and i'm telling you you can do anything on this but it's great for burgers and hot dogs you know Okay guys, so we had a great time at Singing Sands Beach. We had a barbecue, the kids played games. They really enjoyed the sand and the water. I think I'm gonna take a quick nap before we get on that three hour drive back to Toronto. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Until next time, take care.